Having your slicer default to the current month isn't possible. Or is it? Let's go. So check this out. I've got a current month option in my month slicer. And that means if I change my date, let's say I've refreshed my data, and I've just set up a little parameter to do this. If I go edit parameters, and I change the today's date. I'm just pretending here, I've used a parameter to sort of replicate next month, as it were. So next month comes along and I refresh my data. Go apply changes, I click refresh, or it's automatically refreshed. Check this out, it's now showing October, current, okay? And this figure, October, is that figure there. Let's just test it again. Let's go here, edit parameters. I'm going to change it to, let's pretend we're into November now, and I click OK, and I've refreshed my report. I'm now showing November. OK, so how do you do this? Well, I've got a calendar table, and I'll make this downloadable. I'll, I'll put a link in the, in the notes below. I've got a calendar table to help me do this. So let's take a look at that. It's built in Power Query. So here's my calendar table. It's one I use all the time for Power Query. And one of the columns I use all the time is the months since today column. Okay, months since current month, weeks since current month. These columns are really handy. And you can have a look at my code about how I generated these columns. Um, so I've used that column, that months since current month to say, hey, if that month is zero, which means it's this month, I added a little formula. So here we go. I've down here added a conditional column. Let me just open this one up. So all it says is if the months since current month is zero, then give me the word current. Otherwise, grab me the name of the month from the month column. OK, and that essentially gives me a nice little column called month with current. And whenever it hits the word the current month, it'll actually say the word current. I then added a sort by column. You need this to get your slicer to have current show first. So I just did exactly the same thing, but it, rather than the word current, I had the output of zero, otherwise the month number for sort column that I've already got set up. Okay, so with these two things available to me, I can now build my slicer. Okay, so but before I go on, before I go in and show you, just a, a little sort of um, question to ask yourself. What do you mean by current month? You know, do you mean today, whenever this refreshes, it's today, even if you haven't got data? In which case, within my calendar, I've got a little um, formula. This is it here, okay? This will give you today's date. So I've put that in my calendar as an option. I'll show you in a second. Or do you mean latest transaction date as today or current? In which case you can use this list.max and then refer to your table and a column to get the max date. All right. And then you could use either of those in your calendar. So in my calendar table here, let me go to the advanced editor. I've actually got a couple of these in. I'm currently using this parameter just for this demo, but I'd get rid of that. That won't be in the in the file I publish and share. Um, but you could change this. You could use this one to today, or you could edit that one, whatever you mean by today. Okay, and then the rest of the calendar will just get built for you. And with that, okay, if I close this, and in here, it just works. You get this current. And I, you, I did have to go in and say, calendar. Let me pop this window out a second. I had to say, uh, where is it? Uh, month with current. I had to say sort by sort, but the sort by column that I created, okay, in order to get current to show up first here. And it just works. The weird thing is, you know, November is actually missing from my slicer because it's the current month in this case. Um, if I want to change year, I actually have to click off current and then I get different years and then I can, you know, do my normal slicing and dicing. 
But if I'm on 2022, click on current, and that will change. That will change to 2023 as we roll over. So it's pretty cool. Look, let me know what you think. I've not really used this in practice, but it's just something I thought of the other day. And I just thought, actually, this could work really well. So love to get your comments. Let me know what you think. A link for this um, calendar table, this file, I'll put it in the, uh, in the description below and I'll catch you in the next video.